Hello and welcome back again to the Premier League Master Save. That's not the right intro. The Pro Evo Master League on PES 2020. If you're enjoying the series, please do leave a like. If you're excited for this episode, leave a like. If you're enjoying the series, leave a like. If you're loving the fact that we're struggling with Wigan in the Master League original team, leave a like. Um, leave me a comment as well. I respond. Most people will know now that I respond and like and love all comments that I get generally, unless they're horrible. Then I'll just delete them. But um, yeah. Let's get into the game. We're on a roll. We just beat Birmingham 1-0 with a wonderful free kick. So I feel like we're on a roll, but we need to change We need to change this. So I'm going to go into... Um, we did it before by form, didn't we? So I think we'll go with that again. Harrington and Castle Dean staying in there again, which is good. We also played the auto offside trap in the last one. It didn't really make a difference, but... Fasild, Eriksson, Siafer, Tixaria, Bryce, Pallister comes back in. Sahune, Wamu, Gatuka up front. Mia Hylov can come off the bench. Don't need all of those players on the bench. Uh, Gios can go on there. We'll play uh, Douglas Baggio. He can go on the bench for Dalisson. Jarvis can come off the bench for Caulfield. Nori's out. I'm down. Um, I think that's it really. What's the bench looking like? Goalkeeper right back. Holding midfielder. Right midfielder. Left midfielder. Striker left back. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um... Let's just check very quickly. Have we got any difference in chemistry with captains? I don't think we will at the moment. But the 65 chemistry is getting better. We're going to make Wagon Matsuka's captain for today. Up front, we will be in our home kit. They can be in their home kit as well because it's blue v red. So that's totally fine. But here we go then for another game. I haven't changed it to 15 minutes. Um, I decided against it because... I'm actually doing all the subs and stuff without editing it all out now, so it does make sense that all the episodes are around about 20 to 25 minutes long, which is uh, a good little length, I think, for an episode. But let me know. If you want longer games, I can put it to 15 minutes. If you're happy with this sort of time length, then that's also fine. But we're at the DW for Wigan versus Middlesbrough. Can Roberto Carlos get his team firing on some form? We'll have to wait and find out, because it's going to be a tough game with the likes of uh, Rudy Gusted up front for... Middlesbrough, he's a big lump of a man, so there he is, you can see him on the end with his afro, he's a, he's a big, big guy, but let's get the game underway and see how we get on, so, uh, straight away, we're given a bit of space for CFR, but no real options, Rice playing in this uh, unfamiliar holding midfield row, he's each out of the game today with a flu, we're told, play that off, Castle, have a hit lad, he has, oh he's hit the post, he's struck the post! What a start that would have been for Wigan. Oh, Castle Dean on his weak foot as well. So unlucky. There's uh, Housens here. Now they're going to go straight up the other end, Middlesbrough, and try and make something count here. As uh, Johnson runs forward with it. Cuts back. The cross is blocked, but it falls to Housen. Johnny Housen on the ball turns, and that's a very acrobatic effort from the edge of the box. But straight away, Castle Dean smashes the post, and then Middlesbrough go down the other end and create an opportunity of their own. Housen did well just to hold out good strength there from the striker, and... Probably a high foot, but he went out for a goal kick anyway. Oh, what? Again, another frantic start to a Wigan Athletic game. It's just incredible. Roberto Carlos is a wonderful manager for entertainment. I don't think you can ask too much more if you're uh, a Wigan fan with the amount of entertainment you're getting here. And Pallister finds himself in a little bit of space. It's a bit of a heavy touch. Castle Dean will pick it up. Drops it into CFR. Pallister out to Rice, oh that's a heavy touch as well, but the ref's given a free kick, now is it a bit too far out to shoot? I don't think so, Castle Dean straight off the back of scoring one wonderful free kick, he's going to fancy another one, gets it up and down over the wall, but just over the bar, not his best effort from Monsieur Castle Dean, and you can see there is Wigan line up with a sort of five man midfield, uh, in a straight flat line which Middlesbrough have sort of easily avoided, but goes into Gusted and uh, Vasilj picks out Wagamatuka with a wonderful pass. Unfortunately, Wagamatuka's pass himself was pretty rubbish, but we are doing pretty well. Come on, here we go. Castle Dean trying to just force some pressure. Yeah, we just need to get in their faces. I mean, we, I do think the 4-1-4-1 seems to be our sort of formation now, which is a bit of a concern that I've bought. I've got three new centre-backs coming in. But... They will make us better. Oh, I thought I read that as well. Just when those tantalising passes just go past your feet. You can't pick them up. But again, we're not middle of the road. I'm going anywhere with this possession. 
They're literally just like edging forward yard by yard. They are trying to make something happen now as Gusted turns well. Texaria gets a foot in. Rohanna can cross that in. Ericsson with a good touch. Rice can't get there. Pallister can't get there. But Castle does. And uh, oh, go on, Pallister. Stretch your legs, mate. Infield, Castledean's there. Here we go. Wagner has made a great run. It's got through to him. What a touch! Oh! He was on the side and just couldn't get it out of his feet. And Pears. Oh. Just jumped on it. Gestead should win that. Yeah. I think Gestead did win that above Rice. Uh, just can't. I mean, the thing, I think here, as long as we don't let Middlesbrough put crosses in for Gestead. Rudy really Gestead will be totally fine. As, uh, that's exactly what they're trying to do now. As it goes out wide to Johnson. Come on, Super. Yes. No way! Never a free kick, Mr. Referee. Never. Ericsson has every right to complain about that one. Get over it, you big fatty. Nothing in that. Johnson's gone down. He's not even gone down. He's just stopped. Oh, right. Man marking. Whoever's got Gestead. Make sure he's marked tight. He's gone for goal. He's gone for goal. I mean, the keeper's fallen over. Keeper made a right hash of it. But can we counter? Harrington. Into Castle Dean. Come on, lad. Come on. Here we go. Get it onto that left foot. It's a heavy touch. He's got it onto that left foot. It's a block shot. Bollocks. Definitely should have done better then. Definitely. I shouldn't have taken the heavy touch. I was trying to get it out of his feet to set a shot. And I did it too late for it to be worthwhile. That's a really poor pass. I do like the fact the AI can misplace passes. There we go. Castle Dean. I've, just, I've said it once. I've said it again. I'm gutted he's leaving. Just cut that back. See if he's in the space. Go on, Rice. Good hit. Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. Rice with a shot from range. Again, I'm... I'm I'm feeling more confident, which means I'm shooting more in the game, and it's giving us chances. Right, it's a bit of a curl on that as well. It's a great save by Pears in goal, to be honest. And uh, Castle Dean, who had a dangerous corner on him in the last game. Let's see if it works again. Castle Dean fires it in. It's a fry to head it away. A bit overhit that one. There's uh, Rice, who is our holding midfielder, is caught out of position, and we could be in trouble. Pallister showing decent enough pace to get back. Come on, Vasils. Uh oh. Don't let him in behind. They tried. The Sills can't get there. But Pallister puts his body in the way. Well done. He's doing a lot of things right, Mr. Pallister, at the moment. For Roberto Carlos. And Middlesbrough just keeping the ball. Still 0-0, so they don't have anything to worry about at the moment. I don't know if a 0-0 result would be good for them at the DW. You'd probably expect... The way we've been playing recently, with the Birmingham result aside, you'd probably expect them to come and try and get the win. Oh, Pallister again. You're like a new man. You're like a man possessed. Castledean puts the ball through. Go on, Wagamatuka! Come on! Oh. Oh, Pallister's in a bit of space. Let's put a first time cross in. Wagamatuka. No, is that Gusted all the way back there? And again, Pallister. Try again. No, too close to the keeper. That's the problem. Ooh. Oh, again, tantalising. I thought I'd read that and the keeper got away with one. Come on, CFR. Get back. Luckily, they didn't swing that ball into the box. Okay, I'll put this one in, though. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I didn't mean to leave that with the Sills, but that's turned out to be a wonderful decision from the centre-back. I told him to get a good old head on it and head it away, but I'll take that. Five minutes till half-time. It's been an OK game, not as entertaining as the the Birmingham one, which obviously was a bit of a end-to-ender. It's kind of leaning to Harrington. Harrington comes forward. That's a poor pass. Again, rushing that. No need to do that. Derbia. Clayton and Middlesbrough again, but Middlesbrough haven't threatened. They haven't threatened like I thought they would. With Gusted up front, I thought they would have been like playing against Tony Poulis. Is he still their manager? Is Tony Poulis? No, it's Jonathan Woodgate now, isn't it? He's manager of uh, Middlesbrough, who isn't doing very well. Again, with my limited knowledge of the championship, I don't think he's doing very well at the moment. Castling out to Pallister. 
Again, can't knock Pallister. He's been playing pretty well recently. He's got a lot of space to run into here. He's going to have a pop. Yeah, why not? Is that a shot? Is it going to go behind? Can I Ayala keep it in? No, he can't. We get a late corner. And we do know that we're a bit dangerous at corners recently. Pallister doing well. Showing that he's not afraid to have a go. Castle Dean then. We'll do with this one. Fires it in. It's gone all the way to the back post. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sir Hooney, that was incredibly athletic. Nil-nil at half-time here at the DW. Um, not a bad game. We've had five shots. They've only had one. We're just not getting them on target. So we'll leave it as it is. I think going into the second half, we'll look for some fresh legs at some point. Um, we're struggling to get one or two go into the game. And I think that, that could ultimately maybe be our undoing. But they aren't really getting Gestead into the game either. So... Let's see how this second half unfolds. Because, again, I'm I'm happy with how that's gone, really. It's much more competent and confident compared to what we were doing. So he nearly gets in there. As, uh, Rahone puts it into a wing. Harrington just caught out. Dived in a bit too much. And Texaria and what's his face Sahune get in there to double up. But Middlesbrough get it back. That is a little bit annoying when that happens. I think that's just player strength. I think that's where our players are a little bit weak. As, uh, Harrington gets a good block on that goal, Magamatuka. In you go, son. Again, we seem to be panicking them. Like, I know it's an AI and it can't get panicked, but it does seem to be that we're stopping them playing like you'd imagine the computer should play on Superstar. As, uh, Harrington again calls the press. Now, this is where we always do seem to cause ourselves a bit of trouble when they keep the ball well and move it around but again this back this line of five that we managed to keep in the midfield really does seem to stop them playing at all so just, they're, only, they're just basically moving backwards we have got into house and he does get a shot off but it's straight at Nicholas so that's fine let's go then let's go let's go let's go Texeria who has been wonderful probably in this early part of the season probably the young player of the season so far, you would have to say. Into, into Lago Suga. Flip around the corner to Castle Dean just took a heavy touch. I think he's getting a bit leggy. Uh, maybe getting a little bit tired. So they go long to Housen. Looks like Housen's playing as the main striker now rather than Gestead. It's a little tactical switch that they've implemented. Texaria should combo that ball. Now again, Runner gets lucky to come away with it. Oh, he's actually beaten Texaria now. Didn't put the cross in, which uh, was a bit of an error for him, I think. As uh, Texaria picks out Pallister with a lovely ball. Uh, can't argue against that. See if will try it himself to go back. Swing it back out to the left. Right to left, right to left. I've asked a lot of Sahuni there. I've asked a lot, a lot. 60 minutes gone. We need more. Give me, give me more. Give me more, give me more. As I said once on an episode. And then realised it was Britney Spears. Um, who I have seen, like I say, sing live. I don't know how much singing she actually did. But uh, yeah, my wife and I saw her in Vegas. When we went, uh, what, four years ago? She was very good. She put on a very good show, did old Britney. See if, uh, give that back to Castle Dean. There we go. Castle Dean out to Pallister. Give it back to Castle Dean again. It's just intercepted really well, actually. Come on, Texaria. Into Harrington. Oh, that's an overhit ball. I know, I've just got this feeling they're going to get a goal and they're going to nick it when they haven't really deserved to. Ooh, Pallister goes flying in with a tackle. Yes, Ricey baby. Oh, no, Ricey baby. So, who? Great defending. Really, I think I don't know what it is about this formation, but it does seem to bring your wingers back to defend for you. It's very nice. Oh, this is some good football. This is some lovely football. That's a heavy touch, but we lay it out to Texaria. Texaria cross in. Castle Dean's just underneath it. Palace is not fouled, but he's, he goes down. 20 minutes to go. We'll look to get some fresh legs on him in a minute. Been a lot of this from Middlesbrough. They haven't really attacked. I don't know. Maybe we should go a little bit more attacking and go for some pressure on the ball. As Ayala looks to flick that over. Tex area's underneath it and gets there. Harrington with a good touch. Rice just sort of took a bit too long to get that ball out. Are you going to give that to them? I think you are, yeah. We'll make some subs with that decision. Terrible decision again from the referee. 
I know he's got. Oh, I've pressed replay. I know he's got a tough, tough job, the ref, but that's a terrible decision. It's not a foul. Game plan. Um, let's go Baggio for Sahuni on that side. I think we're going to go Giorza on for Siatha. Can we go, yes, yeah, get some. Can we get some pace up front? Yeah, I think we go fresh legs and pace. We know Gios has got the pace, so a triple substitution then. See if it makes a difference. We went defensive subs this time. These are a bit more attacking, apart from maybe Gioza um, at right back, because that's more of a fitness issue. But if we can get those fresh legs on the ball, out to the left of Baggio and through balls to to Gios up front. You shouldn't keep that in really. That should go out. Yeah. No good. I love it when I make the right decision to leave the ball. We have gone into a little bit more of attacking strategy like mentality wise for the last 10 minutes. We are the home team so let's see if we can. I mean what is that for Sills? That is absolutely dreadful. If they score from this again that's one of those ones. I mean he's made up for it with a fantastic challenge. And then don't know referee. That's not a foul. For Sills we can't tell a bit lucky with that original pass but that is not a foul. That's two people going for the ball, ref. I'm trying to think it into Castell. He knocks it down. Let's get a foot in. Yes, Baggio, lad. Just holding on to it there. The sensible football. <laughs> Because as much as I do want to win, I also don't want to lose. And I don't want to give the ball away cheaply, passing them backwards to one of their players. So I just took my time. But even now, they're coming forward. Gestead, who was actually in then. But Baggio, look, see, that's good defending. He's tracked back well. Obviously saw his fullback was struggling a little bit. And we've actually worked this very nicely. Go on, Harrington. Go on, Baggio. Ah, oh, Rona's got some serious pace on him. There's the overlap. Oh, why did I rush it? His body shape was all wrong. I know Pez. I know Pez does that this year. If your body shape is wrong, the pass is going to go awry. Let me get Harrington. Oh. oh, I've committed myself to try to go and block off that square ball. And he's uh, given Rona a chance. And his wing's going to have the pace and facils. Let's dink that in. Ericsson, get their keeper. Thank you. Right, don't roll it to Gestead. Oh, I've just passed that straight to win though. So I don't mind if I take him out there because that's not a dangerous position to give away a free kick. No, 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 no! Good block. Put your foot through it. There we go. Nil, nil, I'll take that. It wasn't the most entertaining of games. But we've held on, and that's four points in the last out of the last six. So I will take that. I think we might need to go a little bit more attacking at home. But again, we've not had the possession, which is rare for us. But more shots. Each keeper only really having one save to make. So not a bad little game. Hopefully results have gone our way and we can move up the table again. They haven't. We stay in 20th. But a win would take us to 16th. Remember, the target was 8th. So that's going to be tough. Next up, Nottingham Forest. We do have some news which we can look into at the end of this episode. We've got another scout, Zuniga. They're struggling to find players, so we might change the scouting um, theme of Ops. So Zuniga, another left back. Bloody hell. Just love finding left backs. It does look quite good. I don't need another left back though, that's the issue. Okay, let's change our scouting here. So. Let's just uh, go none, none, none. Things to focus on overall rating, budget, consider it. And here as well, we'll go scouting and we'll go uh, none, none, none in Europe. We've got, what have we got? We've got Europe, no region specified. Let's specify a region here then. Where do we want to go? Um, let's try and get a little Argentinian. Doing South America. Let's go north. Um, can we do Asia? Yeah, let's do Asia. I'm sure there are some hidden gems in Asia somewhere. We've got 24 million to spend and 2,000 on uh, 
salary budget as well. So I think let's go and have a look at the old um, transfer list. Right, let's go and look at well, look at free agents. See who's out there. Let's just see who's a free agent. Going on at the moment. I mean, some good, some very good players. Surely you won't want to move. If they do, they want too much money. Yeah. We're welcome to move to our club. We just can't afford 24 grand a week. So we're going to be looking much, much cheap, much, much cheaper. Rack up so Biss. Don't need a centre back, Hanny. Again, he would be he would easily be the best player at our club, wouldn't he? 19 grand. Do they have weekly salary? Okay, so at least down here we'll be able to see what sort of place we can aim at. So six thousand. Market value, it's in Placid's market value isn't very good, but he is 37. Is that Mikhail Silvestra? No, I was going to say. I think it was Argentinian. 35, Michel Vaughan. Would you be interested to move to us? Yeah, it's still 10 grand. Crondelli, uh, I remember when loads of people were after him, when he had a really good World Cup. 12 grand. No, we need a replacement, don't we? We need, we need an attacking midfielder. That's what we need. We need a attacking midfielder to replace Castle D once he's got a uh, position. Attacking midfield. Free agents with a... I don't think we can do this because we are... Oh, crap. We'll just yeah, get rid of that. Uh, because people that we actually want to sign, I mean, I'd love, I'd love to sign Van Percy. I'd love it, but we don't have that money. It's very annoying. Why can't you change, like, football manager, change your budget so I can put all my transfer budget into wages? That'd be lovely. Okay, right. I want an out and out attacking. Can you actually play attacking culture now? An out and out. Pala Ledesma. Ledesma. I would love to have Ledesma. He's so old and we still can't afford his wages. Where's Houlihan? Okay, let's go 70, I reckon. Let's go 70 rated. Diamante, 36. Looks good. A little bit injury prone, but nothing too much. Darren Fletcher. Oh, we know he's going to work hard. We know he's going to play well. Matteo, Matteo Brighi. Old champ manager hero. Good passing, injury resistance one. Um, there are still some decent names around here. Ross McCormack, more of a striker, but you know, really could do it for us. I've got this, yeah, I mean, Murphy. I, would, I just want a real out and out. Attacking midfielder. I mean, he's got a lot of through passing, weight pass, lofted dribbling, one touch pass, cut behind, double touch. Attacking midfield. He's only 23. Fiolic, please say you want to move to us. Oh, God. 200. We'll give you an appearance fee, a goal bonus, and a win bonus. This, if we could get him in, that would be absolutely epic. Isn't that Carlos Tevez? No. <laughs> He's got some good skills, though. He's got captaincy. That is what we need. Jack Rodwell. Bring in Jack Rodwell. Oh, dear. We're getting desperate if we bring in Jack Rodwell. Bigley Mana. He's not a bad player in real life. Martinelli. Another Nuri. <laughs> It'd be good, yeah. I like the fact we can see all of these things. It does help us out. Is that Momo Sissoko? Might be. Tony Watt.
getting into a bit of the uh, crappy ones now, but it's just interesting to see who's here. I should have looked at this before, really. Dembele? What Dembele is that? 31 year old Dembele. Who else has got loads of these, uh, loads of this stuff on? Rizgard, Captaincy, Fighting Spirit. On the decline, but could give us an option. Chris Boyd? That's Chris Boyd, isn't it? Yeah. Captaincy and Super Sub. These are a great little way of finding players, actually. Carlitos would be good. I mean, what does he want? Oh, we can't look at him at the moment. Let's add him to the list. Mo, 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 mo. Uh, Gorga Unda. Again, uh, add him to the list as well. Alright, well, some uh, impromptu... That's the guy we're going for. I really hope we get him. That's incredible. Um, some impromptu transfer stuff happening then in this episode. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll be back for the next episode, which is against Nottingham Forest away at the city ground. We have a win and a draw in our last two games, but we still sit in 20th. Nottingham Forest are up in the league somewhere. Let's go and have a look at the little league. Uh, competition info. England. Skybet Championship, standings, and um, Nottingham Forest is second, excellent, we did draw, well, we beat Birmingham actually, who are top, so, yeah, it's not all bad, so we've got Nottingham Forest who are second, we just played Middlesbrough who are now, I uh, went up to 13th for that, so, we seem to be doing okay against the big teams, or the teams at the top, but not the teams in around the bottom and mid-table, but thank you so much for watching, for now, I'm out, cheers. <laughs>